Hey everyone, today I'm super excited to dive into some awesome updates in the world of Nintendo 3DS emulation. You might remember Citra, the top Nintendo 3DS emulator for PC, right? Well, things have changed a bit since then. Citra was cancelled after Nintendo shut down Yuzu because they were developed by the same team. But don't worry, out of the ashes, we now have Lime 3DS and Citra Enhanced. Let's take a closer look at what's new. First up, let's talk about Lime 3DS. According to their description, Lime 3DS is the world's most popular open source Nintendo 3DS emulator. It's written in C++ and designed to be super portable. Whether you're using Windows, Linux, Android, or Mac OS, you're covered. You can even turn your mobile device into a 3DS console. Lime 3DS is essentially a fork of Citra, meaning it can run all the same games. It also inherits some of the issues Citra had, but let's focus on the improvements. Here are the latest updates for Lime 3DS. Lime 3DS emulator change logs. For Android, fixed an issue where certain settings couldn't be changed even after closing a game. Added a real-time audio playback option. This adjusts audio speed to match the emulation frame rate, though it might cause some audio-visual desync during cutscenes if there are lag spikes. For desktop, added a button in the help menu to open the Lime 3DS log folder. Improved how the compatibility list is implemented to make community contributions easier. Now let's move on to Citra Enhanced. This emulator is also packed with new features and fixes. Citra Enhanced Change Logs. For Android and PC, Massive fixes for core downcount hack improving performance significantly. Added Arctic base support thanks to Pablo MK7. Improved Y2R conversion, potentially fixing issues in some games. Initial vertex shader Spire V generation thanks to Wunkolo, which may boost game performance. For Android, implemented sustained performance mode to reduce throttling at the cost of some performance. Added screen rotation using the sensor thanks to Ishan Euro 9811. Translated some features to Spanish. Fixed settings issues after closing games, though some fixes are still needed for landscape mode. For PC, Windows, uh, added an updater and installer, thanks to Clytus. Uh, general updates, a ton of fixes for real-time audio, thanks to OpenSauce 4. Rebranded the project, thanks to Clytus. Uh, removed and reworked internal code hacks to improve performance. Minor fixes for pause and resume emulation on Android, thanks to Ishan09811. Various other minor fixes and cleanups. These updates are seriously impressive, bringing lots of enhancements to make your gaming experience even better. So whether you're a Lime 3DS or Citra Enhanced user, there's a lot to look forward to. Keep on gaming and enjoy the improvements. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.